What's going on? Luke, let me see what they got for me, man. Okay, who's... <laughs> oh, my man! <laughs> my man! <laughs> my guy, where's your chef outfit? <laughs> where's I your fucking chef? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. He's just, he's just downloaded the AFTV Plus app. <laughs> <laughs> Made a login. And jumped onto Therapy. Fountain Zone. I'm, I'm, here for, I'm here for therapy, do you know what I mean? I downloaded the app. I saw my brothers were, were doing therapy and I thought I had to get involved. <laughs> and I predicted 3 1, so that chili come the end of the season on the big six is yours, my guy. <laughs> that was so mad. I said 3 1 on the I, I saw I it. The lineup. I saw it. And, I saw it. And now, now I'm even further behind in the predictions. It's mad. <laughs> Unbelievable. Matisse, you know what's not all that? It's not all bad. Lampard played forwards today. Bro. It was a celebration, honestly. It was confetti popping off when I saw it. I couldn't believe it. Striker, I got two wingers, players playing in positions that made sense. But unfortunately, we still got cooked. Do you know what I mean? And do you know what's so funny? You guys actually let us off. You let us off. You were in the second half. You you, you put the car in reverse. You started saying, oh, we're not even gonna we're not even gonna drive anymore. We're just gonna play music. You guys should have walked it six seven nil. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, we should um, have, we should have, we should have. Still, I can't even lie to I, you. I agree with you. Um, maybe I'm ruining a little bit of the next uh, talking tactics on DR Sports. Everyone, go check out that show. Um, but what, what did Lampard get wrong today? Because you know, you said that you saw the eleven, and you were even more convinced of an Arsenal win. Um, mm. How come? What What was missing for you? I saw the eleven. I mean, I was always convinced Arsenal would win the game. It doesn't matter yeah. what eleven we put out there because, unfortunately, he's in the dugout. And, you know, I said last week after Brentford, he should do punditry. And now I'm taking that back. He's just, he's just not good enough. It's as simple as that. Like, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter you what he does. You fired him from a job he doesn't have. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what he does. He doesn't have the facilities. He doesn't have the capacity. He doesn't have the tools. You know, he doesn't have the ingredients to cook in this kitchen. The, the kitchen is on fire, James, in Turkey. It's on fire. And the fire alarm's been going off for ages. That's why they wouldn't let me cook the fish on the op. They wouldn't even let me. And it, it doesn't matter what he does, bro. Like, at the end of the day, he was never, we were never going to win this game. And I said it to Arsenal fans. I said it in the studio. Remember when I came in and, and Cecil was starting to worry and he was like, oh, maybe. No, there's maybe nothing. It's, it, as long as you guys play football and you do what you've been doing even 50% of what you've been doing this season, you're going to win. We don't play football. On Tuesdays in, in training in Cobham, we play tennis. On Wednesdays, we play badminton. On Thursdays, we play rugby. We play tag on Fridays. We don't play this sport. The sport that you play, we don't play that sport, bro. We don't play the same sport. <laughs> I promise you. It's mad. It's mad. Turkish, I'll let you take over. Your big six buddy, you did box to box. Anything else you want to ask? No, I love seeing him like this, man, because all season he's been on Arsenal's backs, man. Oh, watch alongs, <laughs> hate alongs. He's just been waiting for our downfall. And you know what? He, he did get it in the end, but this is a nice victory, man. I'm, I'm going to enjoy big six Thursday night, man. <laughs> uh, do you know what? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the 40 points. <laughs> <laughs> He's been calling for it since February. I, uh, I remember watching I Big Six. Get it, bro. And I remember, wasn't it Toby who was saying, look, like, yeah. you got to chase for top four. And you went, top four? I want 40 points. <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah, and, come and, on. And people were laughing. You're not laughing now, are you? Well, we are. We have Bournemouth next. They have, they've won four out of the last five. We're not beating them. We're not getting anything. Like, the only game is Nottingham Forest, because after that we have uh, United away, City away, and Newcastle at home. We're not. We, we, we're finished. We're now, finished. For, Forest is a big game, to be fair. You know, battle for relegation. I think you'll give it your all there. <laughs> Six-pointer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if Bournemouth you know win, what? they go above you, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. Let me do, do you know what it is? Yeah, do you know what it is? <laughs> Uh, I've def I, I, and I used to defend Tuchel a lot. He, he won the Champions League, Super Cup, Club World Cup. He's now also saved us from relegation. He he needs a lot of respect. Because <laughs> that does. ten points in it, he got you ten points. This guy, this guy left in September and he saved us from relegation. We didn't even know <laughs> the blessings that we've received from this man is insane, bro. Honestly, man. What, what you sacked him for is actually what's keeping you up. Yeah. Because let's be real, if if, yeah. if we if we had sacked him before the season started, we'd be in a relegation battle right now. And I can't tell you we would get out of it. I think we'd actually get relegated. We don't play like a team that could survive. We really don't. Yeah. It's that bad. 
it's that bad bro it is that bad i can't even i don't even know how you man are going to turn this round you have quality players oh. for sure but Pochettino, he's around the corner apparently. Um, I guess uh, outside looking in, it's probably the the right appointment. I know you're happy about that, yeah. but it, it'll, t it'll not, probably take a couple yet. years. Yeah, it's not done. It's not, yet. it's not done yet, bro. He might he might run off. You know, we need to we need to get to sign <laughs> on the dotted line, manipulate him. You know, light him, whatever. We need to get. Please. to sign. I like I, I like um, Lampard's tactical flexibility, though. He can go from yeah. one game where he plays. Pretty impressive. Like a, a, a false nine with, with four midfielders and a back five. And then in the other game, it's a four three three. He's a very fluid, flexible Nothing manager. Maybe an extension no, <laughs> extension might look, be on the card. People laughed at Guardiola when he brought in the false nine. Lampard's bringing in the false DM. I mean, like, what, what more can you ask from him? You know, La Lampard, Gallagher and Lampard Kante just, pressing from the front. Lampard is just false. Just false. <laughs> There's no false DM nine. He's just he's false. False Lampard. Station. Can I just tell you... Can I tell you why? And I actually, you know, I actually mean this as a, a degree of positivity for Chelsea. The reason I'm going to enjoy every single minute of this is because I know the players you have aren't as bad as they're playing, and I know that Pochettino is going to get a tune out of you, and I know that next year, this is a three-one win next year is going to feel so much better than it does today. Today, I, I don't mean to be rude. It feels so routine. It's like yeah, yeah. We, we beat twelfth place three-one. For both of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but next season, I really don't think it's going to be that way. So I'm going to enjoy every minute of Chelsea being awful because I don't think you will be. Next well, next year. season, Pochettino out has to start, isn't it? Nah, that's, the, nah, nah. that's the next agenda. Don't do that, don't do that bro. Come on. I Pochettino need some out. <laughs> I need some stability, bro. I can't be making new manager videos every six months. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Matisse reacts. Poch sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Lampard in talks with the interim job. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Di Matteo don't. is his number two. Oh. Well, okay. I'll ask you one question before we let you go, Matisse. Fair play. You're a great sport jumping on. Of your current 11, who do you actually think is in the team next year? Who Who is a part of that Chelsea future with Poch? I think Madueke, um, definitely. The, obviously, he got the goal. Mm. Couple, he done, he done some step overs. That's so more than I've seen in the last <laughs> few weeks. So I'll take that. Yeah, um, that. Fofana, um, yeah. Silva. If we're lucky, if he doesn't run back to Brazil, you know, I mean, he could. He might just leave, and I wouldn't blame him if he did because he's he's, he's thirty nine. He shouldn't have to do deal with this nonsense. Yeah. Look how Let that man retire, cutting. man. He was cussing everybody on that pitch when we were conceding goals. Odegaard was was actually playing like Frank Lampard and was was drifting late on and making late runs and scoring. So. Silva, uh, you know, I'm happy for Silva, whatever he decides to do, do you know what I mean? I want him to just be blessed, do you know what I mean? He's got family, kids, he doesn't need this, so I understand <laughs> that he needs. Um, <sighs> Enzo, um, you know, Kante, the contract's still not sorted. Um, and Sterling, that was a horror show, absolute horror show. I don't know if he wants to be here, to be honest, after after what's, what's been going on this season. I think, I think he was one of those players that saw Tuchel left along with Cover. And they they looked and they said, "What would you bring me into this for?" Uh, I signed I, I signed on the dotted line with Tuchel. You didn't tell me in in, in fine writing in terms and conditions under under the contract that you you would you would then go and hire three managers after that and be in a relegation <laughs> battle. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't what know. About Chilwell. Ch Chilwell is had interest from he signed a new contract, but he had interest in from City. So I guess he's he's going to stay. But he did he did just sign a new contract, yeah. But he's. Yeah, he's injury prone, so hey. Fair enough. Matt. And any yeah. last words? Love for the love, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, fair yeah. play. Real yeah. fair play, Jim Tease. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you on the Love, my bro. I'll go watch your review after this. Everyone, go check out Matisse's channel. Big thanks, Matisse. Trust me, show him some love, man. He needs it. Absolutely. In a bit, Matisse. Um, go check out Matisse's chat on Matisse Armani as well. No more surprises for me then. That was a good surprise. I thought I thought they had someone ready that, to that was a good try surprise. argue. Why are you so negative, Turkish? I thought that was coming, but yeah, I thought we was going to pull up Dave Jordan or something. <laughs> I thought, oh no, we're in for a big back and forth hey, here. Love, love people. Dave Jordan. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.